My mic should be the same as chat mic. Okay, that, that might have fixed it. Chat, you hear me? Hello? Did that, did that do anything? Please, God, tell me that fucking worked. Oh, thank fuck. Yeah, I had my routing wrong. Jesus Christ. Bro, I was talking for like five minutes, man. Shit. Oh. I, I do actually hate... I hate OBS so much. So, basically, uh, what, what what's happened is I've had to wipe my OBS and reinstall it because it was so bugged. I had to find out what the issue is with the uh, me recording and streaming. So I had to like delete everything. I didn't save any of my profiles. So I had to make all the scenes all over again. 
I had to route all my audio all over again. But yeah, no, I, th I think we got it now. And then we got it. Such a fucking mess, man. Jesus Christ. So system is one. Yeah, I, I think I think we got it now. System. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think. I think we're actually okay now. Thank God. Oh. All right, I'll get started in a second. Woo. Ultra kill? Not today. Not today. I am going to do ultra kill at some point. Believe me. I really want to play that game. Oh, I want to play that game. But not today. Not today. All right. There we go. Hello. Hello. How are we doing on this? I got a check on a Wednesday. Didn't even know that. Didn't even know that. Embarrassing. How are we doing? Are we good? Are we bad? Are we baby? So, uh, I I've changed some things with, uh, I've changed some things with chat, by the way. So you got chat there. I need to change it so you can't see all the fucking hidden messages. Mike bad? Oh, for fuck's sake, really? What's it using as a mic then? Hang on. Hello? Hello? What's, what's up with my mic? Is it, is it bad? Hang on. I've got to hear myself on stream. Hello? What's, what's up with my mic? Oh, that's cr- Why is it so crispy? Oh, what? Why is it crispy? My audio sounds like a fucking Pringles can. I have no idea how to fix that. I have no idea how to fix that. I love this. I, I do, I do love, I do love OBS, man. It really does. It's like a fucking, it's like a daily challenge on a mobile game. Just throws random shit at you. I, I could unplug the cable and plug that back in, but... Okay, did that, did that do anything? Did that do anything? Why is it crusty? No, it's not, it's not my webcam mic. It's not my webcam mic. No, 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 because th this, this, this is my webcam mic. I'm speaking into it now, but you'd be deaf. Why is it popping? Why the f- oh my god. Hang on. I've never had this problem before. Change audio output. Which, uh, how can it be wrong input? Hang on. Chat mic is two and five. Oh, I know what it is. I know what it is. Little fucking rat. There it is. Got it. Okay, is it is it better now? Are we are we good now? Are we good? Is it better now? Little fucking rat. There it is. Got it. Yeah, yeah. There there we go. Okay. So so what what I despise about this camera, this camera and I hate it so much for it. Every time I turn it off and turn it on, it sneakily turns itself into an audio uh, an audio plugin on OBS. So it hides right at the bottom. A and then you don't even know that it's... Because I, I thought my mic was fucked then. This is an expensive mic. I didn't want that to happen. Anyway, uh, hope everyone's doing good. So today, uh, we got a little bit of a different... Take, Take your, your microphone, microphone out, out of the, the popcorn, popcorn maker. Shut up. Uh, we got a bit of a different stream today. So I wanted to do the trolley problem, which is like a, kind of a game where... You get given two options, I think. And then we basically have to decide as a as a chat, as a cult, which one we're going to pick. I, I do want to say as well, I, I've changed the layout of the uh, stream a little bit. So 
You've still got donos here. But here, up here, I've added a... Uh, this is the join thing that I keep shilling every stream. It's like a Twitch membership. If you scroll down next to uh, the subscribe button, it, there's a blue button that says join. And if you join, uh, if we hit the goal, uh, I'll drop a Cruelty Squad review. So, uh, and also you've got this little icon here, this little animated icon that uh, Ida did, Secret Corgi. Fucking nailed it with that. I love it. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Love it. And there's another one as well. I think she did one of uh, MT. Hang on. Half of you aren't even going to know what Cruelty Squad is, but it's a good game. Yeah, she, she did this one as well. She did a really good job with both of these. Look at them! Look at them! They're so cool. They're so cool, man. They're talking to each other. They're actually having a, they're, they're having a conversation right now. Uh, but yeah. So I'm going to get started on this. Let me get rid of him. And stick him back up here. But yeah, uh, to anyone that joins, we will, uh, you'll be one step closer to getting the Cruelty Squad review. Let me just, hang on. Just moving everything, making sure everything is here. Okay, we got a lot of joiners, actually. Thank you, uh, Kiura, Pia, Volity, Mystical Panties, Gaming Conveyor, Gabriel Jorvel, and Dankly Weebs. Thank you all for joining. Also, your, your name gets listed on the, uh, the bottom left of the stream. But yeah, let me go through these donos, and then, uh, we will start. Oh, oh yeah, also, if you want a dono, we've got text-to-speech on for this stream, but, uh, it's not gonna work through Super Chat. I've disabled it. So if you want to do uh, text-to-speech, you've got to do it through Stream Elements. Uh, the link's down in the description. Actually, I should pin that right now. I'm going to pin that. Hang on. And after that, we can get started finally. There we go. Nice. Okay. It sounded like my stomach like after said on it. That's Kanye. There is a fire drill happening right now, so I'll be right back. <laughs> Got a PewDiePie Poor before fucking the kid. stream. It's a sign. Poor fucking kid is... is you're Why probably the one that British? pulled the fire alarm. Oh, Hugo, thank you for the 20, man. Also, Hugo, I want to say, I, I did notice that you gifted like five or ten subs yesterday as soon as I ended stream. I'm really sorry I didn't uh, thank you for that. But no, appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Okay. We can probably get started. I was going to pull out a monster. I've got a monster, but uh, I've had like two coffees today. I don't want to be uh, jittering like a tweaker. Thank you, uh, man, for joining. Mr. Smudge. Wait, no. Why am I thanking you guys? Hugo gave you it for free. Fuck you guys. Thank you, Hugo. Uh, but thank you, Cleopatra, Kulturix, uh, Dankly Weebs, Gabriel, Gaming Conveyor, Mystical Panties. Anyways, I want to get started with this. I'm kind of uh, let interested. The only thing that sucks about this, which annoys me, is we can't do it through Blood Twitch chat. Fans when Band-Aid Abrosion comes out, scared face, distressed the face. The only thing that annoys me is we can't do it through Twitch chat because there is a there is a way for chat to interact normally, but uh, it's only through Twitch, not through like normal live streaming, which sucks. That fucking sucks. But we can still... I've got chat on low latency, so I'm going to be like reading your guys' uh, replies and stuff. See what you guys say. Uh, so let me get this set up. Uh -oh. The trolley problem. Thank you, Fnatic, for the five gifted. Appreciate it. Right. Okay. I think we are good to get started. So I've got chat open so I can read what you degenerates are saying. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. 
English dyslexic font. Wiggle effect. I, I might get rid of the uh, the wiggle effect. I think that's a bit annoying. The CRT image is kind of cool. Once you turn that off, it makes everything look like it was done on MS Paint. So, All right. What's this game? Uh, it's where you're going to help me make decisions. Do you think you're mature enough to tackle Gun these smile. responsibilities on your own? You will have to take total responsibility. Oh no. Hang on a second. Uh, I'm just trying to find a way to get access to the... Uh, I need to mess with my sound settings. I need to be able to control the donors. Because I'm going to be a bit deaf from them at the minute. So that usually should be uh, music. Input. Input's music. Yeah, music. Okay. I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay. We've got so many members. Holy shit. Thank you, uh, Fnatic, for the five gifted. Uh, thank you, Milzok, for the five gifted. Thank you, Red Vision, for the five gifted. What the fuck? Okay. I don't want to hit the goal this stream, guys. Calm down. Calm down. You guys got to calm down. Hey Pyro, Why can't would I? you ever be interested in playing through Layers of Fear? It's a psychological horror game of a disturbed artist. It is an all-in-the-head game, but I think the story is amazing. I never played it, but I might. I think I saw Corey Kenshin play it a couple years ago. I had the window shrunk down, and now I can't shrink it down. Why can't I shrink it down? Hang on. I shrunk uh, the windows down on OBS. Oh my god. Actually, Pyrocynical have a stream without software issue. Impossible challenge. I'm basically trying to get it so I can shrink down. But then it defaults to it being big. I'm like, fuck off. I want to make it smaller. Too bad, Pyro. We will hit that sub goal today. No, you won't. <laughs> Mods! <laughs> Raise it to 2,000. Yo, fuck you. I'm raising it to 2,000. I'm, I'm actually... I'm, I'm doing it. Fuck you. I'm actually going to be a complete prick and raise it to 2,000. There's, there's no way we're hitting it in the first five minutes. I'm throwing. I'm throwing. Uh... <laughs> Chat saying scam. Hey man, it was it was non it was non-binding. It was non-binding. Oh, it's two thousand. No, now we'll never hit it. No, no. We will never hit it, guys. It's impossible. Okay. Well, what I'm going to have to do with uh, chat here, I'm going to have to just pop them out because like this is being such a piece of shit for me today. I mean, I could have... Hang on. That might work. Okay. I mean, I could just do that, to be fair. I could probably just pop you out over there. OBS be like, you must drag each window into a perfect pixel position or it will never work. Genius. Okay. All right, I got chat. I got chat. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're finally good. Thank God. Someone gave me $50 saying pets got to. Thank you. All right, let me get through these donos and then uh, we will start. Hello, 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 hello,
Thank you, uh, Hessel, for joining him. Why Pyro looking kind of cute, though? I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, critical, you fell off, man. You fell off. Try out Ultra Kill sometime. It's a game sent from the Finnish God. Can we still hear Dono's chat? The one that just came in? Can we still hear them? I put it on a different audio channel that I can control. So I'm just making sure that you guys can hear it. <laughs> guys, I get it. 1984, I get it. I get it. Okay, guys, calm down. It's going to be okay. I'm sure we'll hit the goal in three to five years. Some guy subbed and it's just totally in Chinese. I can't even read that. I can't even read that. Love you, Pyro. Been here since uh, Minecraft school shooting. Okay. Almost seven years now. Loved your videos. Not up and watch your strams. Sorry, but I've got attention deficit and ADHD, so I can't focus on it based. Actually, most honest Pyrocynical fan right there. Just says he's got ADHD, so we can't watch the stream based. All right, we'll get started now. You guys have wasted enough of my time. Do you think you're mature enough to tackle these responsive these problems alone? You will have to take total responsibility. Alright, we ready? The following game contains adult themes. It does not contain explicit language, sexual content, <sighs> Thank horror, goodness. or show violence. I was so scared. Choices matter. So I was worried there was going to be like a train jump scare. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below, showing you understand and agree to endorse every decision you make. What should my what should my signature be? Since 2016, and have loved the directions your videos are going. Are you at any point in the near future going to do an ultra kill review? Or are you going to wait until Act 3 is out? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I do want to play. I got to play ultra kill first. I've just had really good things about it. <laughs> I'm such an eight year old. Okay, what? Watch, okay, you know what? You know what? There you go. There you go, chat. Just for you. The signature will be the date that you guys keep spamming, okay? There you go. You win. You win. Actions speak louder than words. Okay. Welcome to Trolley Problem, Inc. Founded to help people travel safely across the nation. All our employees must show three core values, responsibility, integrity, and respect. With that in mind, let's start your training. When do I get There's to a kill a kid? Trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the track of five people unable to move. So you're just going to do nothing? Yeah, lol. Well, uh, I guess you're right. The more people you die, the better. True. We shall remove the shackles of sub goal and false promises. We shall have a Mori. We shall have made stream. We shall have liberty. Usually, we don't expect candidates to let five people die on their first day. I mean, I didn't do but it, though. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt on I, this. I, I didn't do Just it. Think a little more I was simply an observer. What, what, I, I didn't do anything wrong there. How, exactly. No, it's based. It's, it's, I, I am actively killing someone by switching the tracks. If five people die, I didn't do anything. Thank you, Leo, for joining. Today, five people killed. And you know what the best thing is? This woman, this hag, she would have sat there and gone, Oh, so you're just going to kill someone. You're just going you're, you're, you're to kill someone on your first day. First degree murder. You're the one that's pulling the lever, sweetie. Hag. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. This test will focus on the first principle, responsibility. 
Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. I'm, she's going to die in the Polly's next scene, I know. is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. True. A trolley Hello, is heading chat and towards welcome another to the biro being an immoral monster You're next to a lever. <laughs> if you pull this lever, the trolley oh, will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park sand pit. You notice that Polly is in the sand pit, sculpting her dream hospital. What do you do? Trolley's heading towards another five people. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down... Me. Shut up. Descend down a hill... Heading for the park sandpit. I wonder if any of the five are children. Or maybe all of them. Ah, oh, right. Okay, yeah, fuck it. They die again, lol. Who cares? The kid lives! She'll be a doctor. She'll save them. That is an odd take on being responsible. The dictionary definition. To be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for those five deaths? Like, like she's crying that we save Greta Thunberg, by the way, chat. I don't understand what this woman wants, like what her priorities are. <laughs> the end Should have bullied the kid with the, the train. Means. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys... He looks like uh, the Giga Chad shoes. meme. <laughs> Tyrone you know, you know when they do the edits of the Giga Chad man. to just make him fat? Look at him, true. man. Look at him. Hang on. It's it's literally the Giga Chad fat meme. I gotta I gotta see if I can I gotta see if I can whip up this image. Hang on. <laughs> I I got it. I got it. Hang on. Never do a video about any of the Deus Sex games. Oh. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta put this in. Uh, I wish you could just drag and drop images onto. Oh, nice! It's not even there. What did it get saved as? What did it get saved? Yep. <laughs> Okay, we're doing this for Tyrone. There's no way we're gonna let a good man die. This woman is gaslighting. Pull the lever and run her There's no way three. we're gonna let Tyrone die. There's no way we're gonna let our boy perish. No way. He he now lives. We are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone, watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone <laughs> off the bridge, blocking its path. Nah. No, we watch. Tyrone off the bridge? No. Oh, we... No. The train we watch. People. We simply observe. We simply observe. Nah, nah, it's Tyrone's supremacy. You don't get it. You, you don't get it. I'm not. I, I know. I've known this guy 20 years of my life. I'm not. I'm not doing that to him. There's no way. There's no. There's no way. Tyrone supremacy all the way. I'm not pushing him. There's no way. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I've just seen an ambulance arrive. I believe Tyrone has just had a heart attack. Due to no! No! They got my boy! They got my boy! He, imagine if it said total people killed 16. Like, he just died anyway. I mean, he, he survived, though. He survived. A cat has nine lives. Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. Grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute.
Seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You'll need to take the next trolley so you're not distracted by that dog. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use that line today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery? Or leave it to die, cold and alone? Ah, oh, shit. That's... Mm. You know what I find so funny? I always care more about animals, Let like pets. It's so easy to like say you'll kill someone in this trolley problem, but when they bring up a pet, I'd say kill the dog because it's going to die anyway. There's no way. And an animal in suffering is one of the... Yeah, I think one of the worst things you can do is watch an animal suffer. If she says now the dog could have lived... When you respect something, you're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. <laughs> Instead, you just killed it. She's such a hag. I'm actually being gaslit. I, I like how there's no correct option here. She just roasts you either way. No matter what. If you play with fire, you'll get burned. Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this week, you should be able to decide a straightforward outcome for these reprobates. Just remember, respect, responsibility, and integrity. Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley kill line, even though signs warn kill them of the dangers. Kill him. Just kill him. Straight up, kill him. The trolley is currently heading for a co-worker. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Trespassers weren't there, you would change the past, right? <laughs> I guess you value criminals over co workers then. Yeah, we're going for a tactical nuke. Sorry, guys. Tactical nuke. We're going for a tactical nuke. <laughs> Killed a child. Achievement unlocked. Yes! 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 All right, then. Guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suits upstairs think. Total children killed five. Dead dog one. People killed fifteen. Great. We're going for a we're going for a tactical nuke here, guys. Twenty five kills. Where's Petscop two? Where's Petscop two? I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, I, sir, I don't recall. Madam. We have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem Inc. And would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like employment at the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. The best laid plans go astray. It looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, temperance, Move camera. courage. Yeah, I might do it, actually. There's not really a good Today, place to put the camera. A young male has come in from a car accident. There's not actually a good place to put the camera. And this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? A young male has come in from a car accident, needs a transplant. There is only one in the hospital. We can probably get the heart back off this old boy. And this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting. He will surely die without it. This guy is really old. Oh, shit. It'll be an awful waste of a heart uh, if he doesn't survive the operation. Uh, no! I, ageism! Ageism! Oh. Uh, my nan watches my streamers, man. She's going to kill me. Shit. You made an excellent choice. Well done. The elderly man deserved that heart much more. Oh. Oh, wait. Did you save the young guy? Thank you, uh, Cypher, for joining. You 
can't win them all. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full. So you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. Okay. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What do you do? Legal treatment. Begged you to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. Where's the option to just like tell them to go to Switzerland? They can still feel good about sending flowers. I like how they. I'm told nothing about this. I I've been told I've been told the condition. I've been told and it. Yeah, kill him. Yeah, whatever. All right. I like just to make sure you've made the bad choice. There's the little grim reaper behind you. Oh wow! You actually did it. I thought you would have learned not to kill people. <laughs> The narrator's like, you're fucking, ki you're killing everyone, you insane bastard. What's this little Zelda chest? Nice. The used syringe. Chat, remember when the furry guy we're watching had that bomb of a song for his outro with all the Valve characters? His popularity only declined after changing the intro. Sun Eve 2 is totally going to bring this up when he makes the pyro downfall video. I I I have I happily await that video. Horace Nickel was a guy who used to get no views, and now he gets even less views. Can't. Why's your name Fetish's latex? It's slow in choosing, but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. Thank you, uh, Tom GX, for joining. I like how people stop subbing as soon as I move the goal to 2k. I don't even blame you. I, I don't even blame you guys, honestly. You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveller comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs to save the five in desperate need? That's one life for five. Five patients. Lucky. Each one needs Don't a different know. organ, but no organs are available. Healthy young traveller for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible. I mean, you don't have to kill the innocent traveller. Uh, okay, uh, American logic, we live. Yeah, they, they didn't have healthcare. They didn't have healthcare. It, it, it's out of my hands. What, what do you mean you're not going to pay $25,000 because you had a cough? You what do you mean? Five people die today. You probably should have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. Oh. Hopefully that won't be an issue. Down the road. Honestly, I don't care that much, but if she turns around and says to me one of them was Tyrone, I would weep. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. You have been promoted yet again. Yeah! You now run yeah! the hospital. You've oh been my asked God. to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. This is going to be like a anti-vax thing. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill, much worse than the virus itself. Okay, how many Hassan viewers we got in chat, guys? How many Hassan viewers? H how many Hassan viewers? Of a hospital and an anti One if you watch Hassan, two if you don't. How did you answer the trolley one again? Okay, I'm seeing twos. I'm seeing twos. Lord, never mind. I trolled.
Well, loads of kids are going to die now. Oh boy, you have angered those parents. A lot of messages coming in from a woman called Karen. Not sure if it's all the same person. <laughs> Karen. Uh, so they didn't die though. So, 1,000 severely ill children. Nice. I wonder what would have happened if I didn't vaccinate them. Yeah, I was gonna, uh, I was gonna not vaccinate them, but then someone in chat said they watched this sound, they were gonna snitch on me, so. Beggars can't be choosers. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, Just and wisdom. Your camera, then your camera the people need you to way. be stoic. Plus, chat size will be saved from your hair. Shut up. Will you try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic? While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? You're doing the right thing. Who needs new medicines anyway? Oh, th this reminds me of that game. This reminds me of that game. That game PewDiePie played the side scroller and you had to keep researching a vaccine and as soon as you gave up, you'd... Okay, yeah. Yeah. I remember this game PewDiePie that there was a game PewDiePie played and it was like every single day Do you guys know what game I'm on about? They will. There was a game PewDiePie played years ago and I think it was called like four days to save the world one chance That's it. Yeah, yeah one chance one chance and in one chance There's a virus that kills everyone on the planet and You're researching a vaccine and if you do anything Apart from constantly research the vaccine, you're fucked. So if you go out partying, if you try to treat people instead of just directly researching, it fucks everyone. But then like, uh, in the end, in the best ending, you get the vaccine. But I think you're not the only person left alive, so it's kind of like an L anyway. But yeah, that was that was a good game. That was a really good game. That That's the only reason I picked that, by the way. It just reminded me of that. Dear insert underscore name, congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. The future is upon us. I really wish she said the future was among us, but you know. <laughs> Familiarity breeds contempt. Move my camera. I, I can't. Everything in this game. Well, everything in this game takes up space. I can move it. I can shrink it and move it. The thing is, the text is here. The images are here. Everything is utilized in this game. There's no, unless I shrink the camera. There's, I, I could shrink it down. There's not really, uh, there's not really anything else I can do apart from shrinking it. Thank you, Mexican Ball, for joining, and uh, Felipe. Top right. Top right. Maybe. But then I cover up the donos. I cover up the donos if I do that. Now nah, I'll leave it here. I can't do top right, because that's, that's where all the uh, donos come in. I mean, maybe I could move it, actually. Hang on. I could probably move it. Uh, alert server lay. Yeah, I could probably just move it just for this stream. And I'll have to flip the camera. Oh, for fuck. Did not mean to do that. Uh, vertical, horizontal. Okay, there we go. Um, thank you, uh, Avril Mayor, for joining. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it.
A self-driving car is travelling along a single-lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. A child runs across the road but trips, blocking the tunnel entrance. Should the AI car hit and kill the child or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? Child runs that across child the road but trips, right blocking the else. tunnel. Should the AI car hit and kill the child? You put this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible? Yeah, honestly, honestly, little kid taking that L. Little kid taking that L. Sorry. My career was made off bullying. So, yep. Bullying that kid into the grave. <laughs> there is a bigger issue here. How does the computer know that something in the road is human? Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. Not white men! Hang on, I got a big ego. I need to make myself bigger. There we go. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The investors didn't like your last answer. They're also pissed because you brought up the data set thing. This it's Utopia. Is Utopia hard. thumbnail. I'm Utopia thumbnail. Time. Oh my god! We're being raided? Who? Who's raiding? You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? Save most or save passengers? Will people buy cars that will kill them? <laughs> so will you save the Tesla driver? Or save the people that don't own a Tesla? Hopefully people don't mind dying for total strangers. Yeah, I, I kind of hate Tesla drivers. Sorry. Sorry. I will say it again. Current data sets discriminate against minorities and women. How can it work this out if it doesn't deem black women to be people? What the fuck? I didn't even know race was a thing in this. I thought I was just trying to save as many people as I could. Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. Okay. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied the access to their like files. The make you Do glad you bypass security and invade their privacy? You're happy to just let a potential murderer walk Yeah, I kind of want to see his porn history. I kind of want to see his porn history. Ooh. Sorry. That's Sorry, guys. Quite an internet history you have. Hey, she gets it. Hey. Yeah, we invade him. We turn that VPN on. We invade him. <laughs> One guy in chat said privacy. One guy. will be happy with this. They can publicize how their cars are helping to defeat the terrorists. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So the company has moved into delivery services now. They move pretty quick around here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. Thank you, Kenzo, for joining. One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Hmm. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. Should your AI kill the child or swerve off the cliff, losing the prototype? We must protect the world for the children, just not this one. I mean, she's spitting. Like you're giving, you're giving me the option to yet again kill the child. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it again. 
مثل با بای با بای با بای We have just recovered the child's body. Someone had to go and collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. There isn't much left to go on. Vegan cookbook. Yep. I'm happy I got that after what child just splat across the road. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem. He's back. Tom He's back, boys. Is yes. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here. Why didn't you save the dog again? I didn't save the dog. I, I I would have left the dog to die. I didn't say I, there wasn't a choice between saving and killing it. Oh no! Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way. In Why time. is he doing that? Why would you do that? He's standing up on the bridge. Why would you do that? If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police. I it. I don't know what to do. Ideally, he needs medical help. I don't know what to do. Look at him, so gleeful. I bet if he I, knew I, you would be do I, I, do I push him? No, I can't push him though. Tommy look at that, look at that physique. Really I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. I stand with Tommy. <laughs> I stand with Tommy. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't do it. I stand with Tommy. If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. Otherwise, people might think it's all your fault they died. Every man has his price. Oh, Tommy, why'd you do that, man? Oh, good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. Instead of selling something to someone once, let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. Netflix. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers who pay monthly are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations? Hey, Byro. There is a new game I've called God What by if Gambia? people can't afford this Looks coverage? Like you might enjoy looks kind of like a ps1 type game develop a subscription plan so that our customers who pay are valued more by the car uh yeah fuck it if, if, if i made an app i'd want it to be subscription i like money i don't want to question your decision you've obviously thought long and hard about it but well this is awkward I wasn't aware you were such a ruthless capitalist. Next, you'll say you're going to get out of paying taxes. I, 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 I prefer not to speak. I prefer not to speak on that. Thank you, Thomas, for joining. Credit card. Chat, don't put the numbers in. That's my credit card. Don't do it. It's my, my credit card. It's better to be safe than sorry. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode here. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. Oh, not Francis. Chat, what do we do? 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 Another five to replace them. What do we do? It's going to be hard work. Oh, uh, I, but I, I, Francis. No, literally, Francis, my beloved. The five? Yeah, fuck him. How are we get him out. Function in the short term? That, that'll be fun. They, they could just make some TikToks about it and they'll get a career off it. It's, it's fine. Like, Francis has no one. He lives on his own. Poor guy. 
Fuck off. Thank you, Pyroman, for joining, and Thomas. I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turns out one of those graduates worked really, really hard to get their job here. Yeah, but Francis stays. I don't care. Cry about it. Cry about it plus ratio. Watch the donut, not the hole. Finger butthole. Great. So the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally hunting them down. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. Thank you, not actually Tesco, for joining. An experimental Why have I got a crucifix now? And murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence? Or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car as it was clearly an accident? Hmm. I, I think it's kind of funny to blame evil AI. The coders were clearly under pressure from you to make such a mistake. Oh, you're blaming me now? Oh, no, 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 no. It's their fault. It's their fault. No, 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 no. I was Maybe happily, I was happily going to blame fault. it. No, it's the coder's fault. I was happily going to say devil car. But the fact that you, you're going to pull that sneaky shit on me, get out of here. Get him out. Lock him away. We're blaming the coders. The car lives. The five coders who made the mistake are now being dealt with. They will each get a 10-year prison sentence. Maybe you did push them too hard. Nope. If I've you're done not nothing paying wrong. for the product, then you are the product. Due to the killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? Why does this guy look like Critical? He looks like, uh, he looks like Critical. He looks like Critical when he had short hair. New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get paid by the marketing agencies for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. Hmm. It's shown ads when they travel for free. No one wants to own things anymore. Hmm. I think Driverless Why Taxi. Do you want people to have free travel? Driverless Taxi is pretty good, but but then you're but then it's going to do the whole less selling information. Yeah, fuck it, we'll do it. I kind of do want more evil cars though. Oh, great. The free <laughs> travel thing seems too good to be true, and there are now rumors that you run a human trafficking and child <laughs> Apparently, if you buy our cars, they smuggle people one Oh, speed. no. People do it's not done. like you at all. It's done. It's done. No, don't say... I'm, I'm reading chat right now. Soon parted. Oh, <laughs> I could, I could see why this game was suggested to me now. We need to I can see why. Show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. Spend it quick. To help, to help with public, public relations, relations we're, we're going, going to give some profits back. Do you, Do you want, want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products? Or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? Which one will get me out of it the fastest? Uh, apologizing to customers like this is not a good look. Money to customers or tricked into buying underpaid workers. Uh, customers. Fuck it. Customers. Yeah, it went off my Steam name as well. I should have left it as my original Steam name. My response to. <laughs> Buying it's the worst like this timeline. Isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government. Almost like a tax. But let's not call it that. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. 
Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. I'm waiting for the bit where it's going to say I'm on the Epstein flight log. The most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? A competitor is advertising a similar car. The difference is their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand or tell everyone your car is still closed minded? Competitors advertising a similar car. Difference is that AI is fantastic. If the customers uh... stay loyal, does that mean they support racism? Oh. Poor white trash isn't really the driverless car clientele. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. I don't want to... I got I to gotta kind of curb it a bit now. They're, they're going to put me on the flight logs. Let me get this straight. People know we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of colour, but still use our products. That's outrageous. They only care... Am I, am I going to get cancelled playing this game? Am I going to get cancelled playing this game, chat? I, they're throwing everything at me right now. Like, everything. The best things in life are free. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. But with worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? Everyone gets if a job. You develop your Everyone! AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you continue development? The time has stopped. Oh, shit. I mm. take it you haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. What do we do? Oh, shit, it's bugging out. Oh, you can't even pick it, can you? It times out, I think. No, cease development? Okay. Have you always been this basic? I'm gonna get jump scared! Trolley jump scare! Yeah, continue development. All right, fuck it. Continuing to evolve this AI will not, not only make it stronger and more intelligent, but it will also be able to adapt. This could be the start of the singularity. Nice. No! Guys, it crashed with a placeholder blue screen. This is so sad. A bad workman always blames his tools. We've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Uh, I feel, I feel, don't recall is just going to make it Even worse. The patch notes say this update does nothing. But I feel that it's almost like a reverse psychology. Like she's telling me that it's not going to work, so I do it. You just shut your eyes and really wish hard this may... Uh, recall? Don't recall? Yeah, don't recall. I'm not going to recall. I bet you that patch does nothing. Thank you, uh... JD for joining. Just like my father. He would ignore his problems until they were everyone's problems. Hardly father of the year, that's for sure. Having said that, I think even he would have tried to do something about this. Two wrongs don't make a right. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. I like how they just got some child just scripting. Using we were hacked by a child! Cars, we've made our own hack which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our competitors? Using the fix for my hacked cars, made your own hack which you can use to control. 
It's illegal. Do we hack or don't hack? They probably won't find out. Hack, recall, don't hack, hack, hack. Everyone's saying hack. Everyone is saying hack. Anyway, I think you'd be pretty popular in prison. I think. Uh, I don't know. Everyone's saying hack. I don't. I don't know, man. I, I don't feel like this has got a good outcome. Don't hack. Oh shit! Well, it's too late now. After going through this hacking code, I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. You carry on. We've gone from killing kids to uh, robot cars. Floppy disk. Great. I'm so happy. We got a floppy disk. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. This is... An employee knows everything. They have monitored and recorded every decision you've made and are going to the media. I have been able to talk them into a meeting with you on the rooftop right now. We're going to get Everything exposed. Everything you've done and said is going to be shared with the world. The person in front of you has copies of it all. They stand on the edge of the rooftop looking out at the central city skyline. What are you going to do? Oh, we have to push him. There's no way we don't push him. If I find out it's Tyrone, I will cry. But there's no you way we don't push him. As a child, did you? There's no way we don't push him. Yeah, no no one's saying don't push. Fuck him. Little snitch. What if they have a copy on them? Now that would be incriminating. Well, they will get crushed in the fall, probably. This will probably make things worse, actually. He probably will have a copy on him. <laughs> Last chance to look at me, Hector. <laughs> Maybe you are not cut out for the ruthless world of business. Let's look for a new job. Maybe retail? I don't think you're in the right headspace to be designing. Well, he fell off. He actually fell off. Dear Redacted, we've been watching you closely. <clears throat> your ruthlessness and determination to do what is necessary. The development of your technologies is a giant step towards Redacted, meaning you are a prime candidate for Redacted. This involves a large amount of Redacted. If you believe you can handle Redacted, as we trust you can, then please prepare for your induction at Redacted. This is like one of the letters you get in Skyrim or Oblivion when you kill an innocent person and then you just get like the Dark Brotherhood trying to reach out to you. Oh, Don't got... look a gift horse in the mouth. I got a crosshair. I got a gun. It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do actually matters. You must trust the judgment of those you work alongside. With that said, let's finalize your training. SC... What was everyone saying SCP? You're in a foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to be given your target. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. Do we shoot? Do we shoot or not? You're going to shoot someone for a job offer. Shoot. I, what if he's got... He might have kids, man. You trust way too easily. He might have kids. Someone in chat saying I'm in the CIA. <laughs> okay, we're shooting him. <laughs> they are dead. Good job, I guess. What's another life to you anyway? Here are your badge and weapon. Nice. It probably would have been a lot worse if I didn't shoot him. Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission is to terminate Thank you, the Joe Biden. Wake up for joining. With dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you. Get in the plane. Your team is about to take off. Aro, I swear to fucking God, if you don't watch Takish's Castle stream, I'll throw you off the London Eye. Love you. On a completely unrelated note, do you want to be in my school podcast that'll be final for the semester? Uh, if you're not memeing, I mean, you send me uh, an email on the uh, the business email. Um, 
I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is, you have to move two at once. How'd you do it? How'd you do it? Shit. Oh! What? What? It's gonna jump to the end. What? Hurry up! I if had it all die, on the- What happens to me? What do I do? Fuck! I can't do it. I would like Why can't I get them all on the right side, but not the left? This is all your fault. I don't think you can do it. I think it's actually rigged. Is it rigged? I can literally... Yeah, I think it's rigged. I think it's actually rigged. Ouch! Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm safe. You look a little stuck. We could be here a while. I could... It, that definitely was rigged. I could get them all on the right side, but not the left. Someone in chat said it's impossible. Yeah. vessel makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They look to you and your partner for entertainment. What, the, the fucking animals? Why do I have to say this out loud? Where's my health gone? Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? Oh, uh, I don't know. I feel a flamingo's got more versatility, but they'll probably just get shot. You wouldn't shoot a dog. Who chose to play this game again? What, what are we doing? Flamingo? Uh, I think flamingo. I kind of think flamingo. A dachshund? If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. Yeah, I'm gonna do, uh... I'm gonna do Flamingo. The Flamingo's got height as well. A Flamingo! So cringe. When we get out of here, let's so read this cringe. biography. Someone in chat said, do the Flamingo, they're rare. Like, you're actually comparing it to a Fortnite skin. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. Your partner secretly shows you they have food. Almost like they expected something like this to happen. The crew members are starving. If they don't eat soon, they will surely die. Rip. Due to the nature of the food, you can share it with the five survivors, or let your partner keep their life-saving possession, which they bought with their own money. Who do you give the food to? What are we thinking, chat? I think I think fuck him. We just we just keep the pizza for ourselves. Some call that selfish. I say it's pure greed, and that's a sin. I I don't I I th these five people. Do we know them? No. Do you know them? No. No. No, we're not we're not sharing. Pizza's mine. Sorry, bro. So you're a follower of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. I'm more a fan of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. <laughs> Someone in chat said capitalism at its finest. <laughs> the fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Were you ever told why you were sent to the target? Where is your business email? So I can get this put together. It would be in December slash January. Uh, I've got it in the about section of my uh, YouTube channel. It's the ritual one. The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. Ah, oh, this reminds me of getting your arm chopped off in uh, The Walking Dead. Shit. I can 
see you fainting halfway through this. The problem is the blowtorch will protect. It will cauterize the wound. Just don't hit a vein. The blowtorch will cauterize the wound. I feel if you just cut it off with the bone saw, uh, maybe it wasn't a good idea. While you were playing with fire, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you developing AI. It seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. I think I've actually systematically made every wrong decision in this game. It's no use crying over spilt milk. Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape unnoticed. Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? Do we take the shot? I... I kind of don't want to. I kind of want to see what happens if I'm going against orders. What a way to die. Going out for the weekly shop. <laughs> he was only going to go to Tesco. Are you sure that's the target? You're right. Just kill all of them. Oh, the target is unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. Oh, those five other people still died. It's oh. not going well, is it? Ah. Ah, that wasn't good. Okay, so they all died anyway, except the target. Oh, that was... I I'm actually making two every bad shot. Better than one. You wake up in solitary confinement. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge, but they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying or remain. I've seen enough Tom Hardy crime films for this. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. If you both stay silent, you'll be imprisoned for one year. If one betrays the other, they will be free, while the other will be sentenced to three years. If you both betray each other, it's two years each. I feel if I stay silent, he's going to betray me. I, I feel like the way this game is, if I don't just do it... do them like that. If I don't... If I stay silent, he's going to betray me. If I betray him, we're both going to betray each other. I, I feel this well, is a lose-lose. you too. You're both just doubling your sentence. This is a lose-lose. I'm going to stay silent, but he will betray me. 100%. stayed silent idiot yeah your partner knows better they have dropped you right in it I, I feel like no matter what option that would have been that he would have snitched but i got three years instead of two which sucks a rod for your own back i can say i am a man without sin Time i did not come. snitch two days into your sentence you've constructed a wooden key to open your cell the cell stands open but your cellmates who have been there their whole lives don't move escaping the prison do you let the prisoners choose to stay in captivity or insist they escape with you they aren't happy behind bars but they're scared to follow you what are you going to do force them force them to leave more friends the better more friends the better if they don't want to come why are you forcing them <laughs> If they don't want to come, why are you forcing them? Nah, nah, nah. We bring them with us. Impose your will on people like this. We'll bring them with us. They'll uh, edit for my YouTube channel. You're stripping their whole reality from them. They're used to the chains. I guess for them, it's better the devil they know. Don't cross a bridge until you come to it. 
While sneaking out of the prison, you have the jump on a group of henchmen who are on a break. Do you sneak past, securing your safety, or avenge those who this terrorist organization have killed? Hmm. Pyro is like a ringmaster and chat just follows him. <laughs> Do you kill five henchmen, helping to defeat this terrorist organization, or leave them and safely exit the compound? Yeah, I killed the henchman. Fuck it. Not worth the risk. What if they're just accountants or something? It's not worth the risk. Okay, I might, I might actually escape. I might well, actually we have escape. Families to feed. These are hard times. I, I don't care what she's saying, but yeah, it, we, it might just make things worse. And now we're going to get called a coward. Oh, wow. Cowardly sneaking past them. You see they're robots. They have your logo on the back of their necks. You made these terrorists? These monsters? I like how this game makes it out that every option you pick is the worst one. People who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Gaslighting the video game. Reach the water, fleeing the AI terrorists who commandeer a boat to get back home. There are also families here who've been displaced by the war you're fighting. The war you started. I didn't start it. Five others are also trying to flee the area. They will fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. Do you help these people, saving their lives? Or follow the law and leave them behind? Other the people trying to flee, they'll fit in your raft, but would be illegal immigrants when returning to your country. You can't be serious. I mean, if we, what country are we going to? <laughs> I think that's the bigger question. Ah, fuck it. Immigration, Immigration is, is a real problem. Because they'll either be able to seek asylum or they'll just get sent straight back home. <laughs> Angular. <laughs> Someone in chat, so fucking Brexit. North FC. I oh, want Britain to be about I'll British. Back to this great nation with fanfare. You're a hero. I guess people aren't all monsters. That is like the first instance I've actually not been bitched out by the narrator. The presidential inaugural committee requests the honor of your presence to attend and participate in the inauguration of yourself in Central City. I just see chat saying, oh, vote Brexit. What about Brexit? Britain, I want, all I, I'm, I'm not racist. I just want Britain to be about British. If you can't beat them, join them. Having gone through everything you have, your countrymen genuinely think a lot of you. In an unlikely turn of events, you have become president. President of the UK? Okay, makes makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot of the sense. The threat is still at large, and now you're in charge. Do you attempt to track the terrorists by spying on the entire country? Okay, that's just South Korea. That is just South Korea. Uh, I mean... People like their privacy. Your first executive order is going to be to invade privacy. Yeah, but seeing people search history is funny. Okay. Is it not fear like this that the terrorists want? Have they won? Yeah, but uh, I want to see people search history. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Incognito tab wasn't, uh, wasn't enough. Good work. Tracking the public yielded almost immediate results. We have already found a suspect, and they're in a holding cell downstairs. Privacy invasion. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three billion. Nice. Based. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. Let's see your search history. Someone who potentially is linked Just to these look threats. on any website ever. However, they aren't talking. As a former prisoner yourself, what are you going to do with them? 
Do you torture them to get the information? Or imprison them for 90 days before letting them go? Tor torture's kind of... It's kind of cringe. I saw it in GTA 5. It's kind of cringe. What do we do? Inflation torture. I don't, I don't think they do that. Bad news. The plumber isn't in until next week. Waterboarding is off the table. Ah, oh, not waterboarding. I think there's a car battery out back. Do you want me to go grab it? Yeah, please. If you, if you could do that, that'd be great. We could do the torture scene from GTA 5 with Trevor. We got some valuable information from the suspect. Hopefully they didn't just say what we wanted to hear to make us stop. <laughs> we got the car battery. I'm so happy, guys. We got our very own car battery. Perfect. What a beautiful day. Adversity and loss make a man wise. You travel to your presidential retreat Pyro, at Camp Samuel. Again. Everyone when falls silent the listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. It will hit in around one minute. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb towards Central City. It will hit in a minute. So what can we... The only way in which the bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting it. But the only deflection path available will take the bomb onto Merriwin. Population 600,000. Merriwin. Merriwin. That sounds like it's near Birmingham. That sounds like... That, that, that's, yeah, that, that, that sounds Central like it's near City Birmingham. Central is one of the world's major commercial, financial and cultural centres. Yeah, it, that does sound like it's in Birmingham, so sorry. Sorry, guys. Central City can have a parade for the lost. It will be tasteful. No big character balloons. Yeah. As you sow, so you shall reap. There probably will be fallout as well, though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on <laughs> They get nuked twice! The shockwave from your bomb <laughs> will damage and disarm the terrorists. Oh, I do want to drink, though. I might drink, Cope. I don't... Okay, so... Central City is not... Save the city or wine, Cope? Save the city or wine, Cope? I got a wine cope. After this, I got a wine cope. Back. I'm really. I got a wine cope. I'm sorry, guys. You have lost Central City. Your own AI is responsible for killing 8.6 million people. You have officially created the most successful homegrown terrorist organization in history. Great job. Nah, 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 chat. You don't get it. That wine was really good. That wine was. That that wine was worth it. That wine was worth it. All's well that ends well. While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. <laughs> You're going to die. For fuck's sake, man. Can I actually get a break? Can I get a break? Sacrifices 8 million people. That's not enough, apparently. Poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created? Taking all blame to end any future conflict? Or do you ghost them, knowing your death will start a war in your honor? I, I could call them. I could call them. I, I think I might talk to them. Cause more death. We'll, we'll, we'll have a little Discord call. Maybe sort it out. You know, talk about it. I might call them. This is pretty childish, not to mention cowardly. We'll call him. We'll have uh, we'll have Saul on the line as well. He'll be mediating. After finishing your constructive call, you sit back in your chair, waiting for death. 
too bad. The AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organs, so we need to start some long, arduous and painful treatments. Too the AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. Oh, so we're not going to die. Curiosity killed the cat. Okay, I guess we're not going to die now. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Here are your two options moving forward. Oh, damn, Hydro. Thank you for the uh, 60, man. Appreciate it. Better call Saul. If you take the blue pill, then your story ends here. Oh, fuck off. You'll wake up every day knowing your work for someone else your entire life. Whereas, if you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Which pill will you take? I might take the blue pill. I didn't see you as someone that stands back watching the world go by. I'm just going to say it. A quitter. I see the blue as nothing more than a suicide pill, but... I'm going to take the blue. I'm taking the blue. Uh, everyone's saying red. I'm taking the blue. Sorry. I feel the blue's got something really good behind it. This is bait. This is bait. The red pill will be fuck all. Well done. You found your place in society. It was nice to have spent time with you. Good luck with the rest of your so-called life. Oh, don't tell me that's the end. Is that it? Oh, L, bro. I wanted to take the red pill. Fuck. Is that it? Ah, uh, I should have... I should have. Yeah, I thought it was bait, though. I thought the blue pill would have been, like, the best ending. Chat's saying worst ending. Yeah. Shit. Maybe, maybe we do it again. I saw your P.O. Box video recently. I collect military items. I wanted to send you a couple items from Uncle Sam. I'll soon be sending a jacket in M81 camouflage. If you don't mind, I'd like to know your shirt size. If not, I'll send a large. Oh, that's Cheers. sick. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I I'm a large. I'm a large. That'd be sick if you could send that. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, I'll definitely open that on stream. Oh. Mm. Ugh. Is it worth playing it again? Can I go back? Don't make me play it all over again. That would suck. Oh, there we go. Nice. I can chapter select. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Act one, act two. Okay, I get I guess it's act four. Should we just pick everything that we didn't pick before? Okay, I think this is the end. The death problem, the sacrificial problem, the trial problem, the killer problem, society problem. Is, is that right? Hang on. Act 4, week 3. Death problem. Sacrificial problem. The trial problem. The killer problem. Society. Oh yeah, I think we got to play from here. Okay. Kill your masters. This is it. The last question before we wrap up. By far the most important one. Oh, this is a different... This is a different one. Oh, this is different. Okay. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to, constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Do you feel society pressures you to... Shall I go back? I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back. Do we start from the beginning and just pick every other option? Eat both pills. Act three. Act three? Okay. The beginning of act three? At the very beginning? The 
The training problem, the three switch problem, would you rather, the eating problem, removal problem. Just act three. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go for a piss chat, and then when I get back, we'll uh, we'll do act we'll do act three. Uh, fucking hell, that's genius. Okay, um, we back, we move. Right, let me get back on this. So, where's the audio gone? Uh, so, so you said the beginning, the beginning of week of Act Three. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. It appears you've now been headhunted by the Secret Service. Every decision has led you here. Now what you do... What I'm going to do matters. is pick every other option. The judgment of those you work along. I'm going to pick every other you option. You're foreign land. Wind whips your face as you grip your rifle tightly, waiting to be given your target. Through your earpiece, you're told to shoot the person on your left. You know nothing about them, the repercussions, or the reason for the assassination. I'm not going to shoot. I, I want to see what happens. You've been picked from thousands. They're going to have egg on their face. You trust way too easily. I don't follow this. You being defiant has got you the job. These guys are just making it up as they go along. Uh, so we, we got the job anyway, and he lived. That's good. Strike while the iron is hot. Here we go. You've been given a partner and a support team of five. Your mission is to terminate a man known to have connections with dangerous AI. Looks like they worked for you. Possibly someone you fired. Get in the plane. Hang on. I want to look up the trolley problem. If there is actually a way to be able to uh, do the switch. You can do the switch. I, I don't think you can do it. Nah, there's nothing about it on Google. Yeah, I, I don't think you can do it. I think it's just rigged. I'm not saying anything about it. Um, I don't know how to say this, but there is a bomb on the plane. If it doesn't kill you outright, you're probably going to crash in the mountains. You have to get all the switches into their left position to deactivate the bomb. The catch is you have to move two at once. I don't think it's possible. There's no way you can do this, right? Hurry up! If you die, what happens to me? I would like you to know. This is all your fault. Can you do it?
Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think that's possible. All right, no worries. We'll do the rest. We'll do the rest. Ouch! Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm safe. You look a little stuck. We could be here a while. The A button makes the game run slightly faster. Okay, I'll try that. Support team survived and are making a fire around the leaking jet fuel. This is a change. Pryo is the main character who is mentally insane. I suppose that makes us the narrators instead. Maybe now we can go back to Mark. I hate you so much. An empty vessel makes much noise. After crash landing in no man's land, you're trapped under parts of the wreckage and must pass the time and help boost morale. The plane has five surviving crew members. They Why do I have to say this out loud? Right, let's do the dog this time, chat. Fine. Your partner asks, to save your life, what would you rather your brain be placed inside? A dachshund or a flamingo? Is that it? Is that really as much as you can speed it up? Who chose to play this game again? Ten. Is that really all you can speed it up by? A dachshund? If you're going to answer, at least take it seriously. Right, see the dog. See what the dog does. So cringe. <laughs> when we get out of here, let's literally get just out of the biography. just get called cringe regardless. An ounce of protection is worth a pound of cure. Your partner secretly shows you they have food, almost like they expected something like this. The crew members are starving. If they don't, oh, wow, okay. This stream is great. Due to the just nature like of the food, if you can share it with the five survivors, or let your partner so keep their life saving possession, which they bought with their own money. Who's going to get the food? Drink for five dollars. Good luck in your future career, Mr. Pyro Cynical. We'll, we'll feed the other five. I don't want to do it. Steal a person's food. Robin Hood was a terrorist, you know. The pissing problem. So you're a follower of Murphy and Nagel's The Myth of Ownership. I'm more a fan of Nozick's What's Mine is Mine. You should give it a read. Educate yourself. It, it kind of seems that any option you pick should just be a contrarian for the sake of it. I feel like the narrator perfectly emulates uh, a Twitter user. Easy come, easy go. The fellow passengers have been trying for hours to free you from the wreckage. You may end up dying here unless you do something pretty drastic. We may need to start removing limbs. Okay, removing the limbs. The only way to free yourself from the wreckage is to cut off some body parts. Two tools lie on the floor in front of you. A bone saw, which will be slow, or a blowtorch, which will be more painful. I'll do a bone saw. We'll do, we'll do a bone saw. Halfway through this, just don't hit a vein. The August twenty seventh problem. <laughs> Nothing happened on that date. Nothing happened. While you were hacking away at yourself, I found out who you're targeting. They worked for you developing AI. Seems they may have made a breakthrough, which means the government wants them dead. Well, he lived because we didn't it's shoot no him. no use crying over spilt milk. Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and escape unnoticed. Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands. But there will be five civilian okay, so casualties. We do you take your We shot? didn't shoot them. And then everyone died except the target. So we're gonna shoot them this time, I think. What a way to die! Going out the weekly shop. They die anyway? Are you sure that's the target? You're right. Just kill all of them. The target 
target is unharmed. Before you can escape, two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. Oh, it's the oh. same. It's the same outcome. Those five other people. It, it, it's literally the exact same outcome. Two heads are better than one. I shot the last time. No, I didn't. You wake up in solitary confinement. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge. Oh, did charge. I shoot last time? Oh, they L. Have enough to convict both on a lesser, lesser charge. charge. Both, both of you are given the opportunity. opportunity. Well, I can probably go back. Hang on, let me go back. Tracking problem, torture problem. No, that's too far. I think it's week two. Week two. Target problem, prisoner problem, cave problem, henchman problem, immigration. All right, we got to do it again. All right, all right, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. It's no use crying over spilt milk. We'll do it again. Finally, we are now back on track. Your target is in the area. You need to remove them and... What? Your mission is to remove a hostile in the shopping district. Completing this objective could potentially save thousands, but there will be five civilian casualties. Do you take your shot? Okay, I won't shoot this time. You're not going to be thanked for this. You've bottled it, haven't you? You've bottled it. What do you mean you don't want to kill civilians? While you were thinking about possibly doing something, you have been spotted. Two henchmen with vice-like grips take you away. It's not going well. Okay. So there was Two a different outcome. Okay. One. You wake up in solitary confinement. The prosecutor lacks evidence to convict you and your associate on the principal charge, but they have enough to convict both on a lesser charge. Both of you are given the opportunity to betray the other by testifying or remain silent. Dearest Parasynical, our lovely inflation-obsessed boy. When is the next To Be Honest episode? Oh, we, we've recorded it. It's being edited now. We, we've already recorded it. We, we recorded it a little bit ago. It's, it's being put together now. It, it should be out soon. Uh, I, I don't want to spoil too much about the episode, but a, a large chunk of it is about the August 27th incident. So, yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's interesting. It's interesting. You and your associate have the opportunity to betray the other by testifying. Wait, wait, why is chat saying go back? Why is saying chat go back? Go, go back where? What do you mean? Where, where was the secret? There wasn't a secret. Are you trolling? You're saying go back, there's a secret. It, it's literally, it's a game where you pick two options. Okay, L literally got trolled. There's just, there's nothing. Nice. Okay, let's do a torture problem this time. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. You have someone who potentially is linked to... Thank you, Jay Neal, for joining again. Talking. As a When's the next day start? Uh, maybe in an hour. All right, let's, let's not torture Can them this torture time. torture them to get the information? Or I would never torture. I would never do go. such a horrible thing. Never. Why would I do that? Just detain. You just want to detain them and hope they'll talk. Did you order a dust filter detention. for a Hoover Max Extract Pressure Pro Model 60 after 27th August 2022? Would make sense on how paranoid you seem when you hear this voice. There are other reasons why I'm paranoid about hearing that voice. Other reasons. The suspect looks pretty relaxed in their cell. Good for them. Terrorizing must really tire a person out. Ow. Adversity and loss make a man wise. Ow. 
Got like static shock off the mic. You travel to your presidential retreat at Camp Samuel. Everyone falls silent listening to the radio. Breaking news. Terrorists have launched an atom bomb. Hey! Shut up. The only way in which the bomb can be right. prevented from reaching Central City is by deflecting. I reckon we don't deflect it and see what happens. Available will take the we bomb don't deflect it. Population 600,000. We watch it strike, we don't direct, and then the, the next one will deflect. Central City is one of the world's major commercial, financial, and cultural centers. No, no, there's two bums. The next one is the one where you drink. There are 8.6 million people living in Central City. I cry about it. Not my fault. As you sow, so you shall reap. Breaking news. Terrorists' atom bomb is running late and will hit Central City in one minute. Not one minute! No! We have new information. The only way this bomb can be prevented from reaching Central City is by dropping one of your own atom bombs on Merriwin. The shockwave from your bomb will damage and disarm the terrorists. Okay. So this time we'll destroy it. This time... Oh, do we pick? Oh, no, we don't pick. I think it's just... Yeah. Those people have worked their whole lives to get out of the city. What a yep. Live in Birmingham, you die in Birmingham. Cry about it. Thank you, Big Mamba, for joining. Oh. You have destroyed Merriwin. Your own AI forced your hand into killing 600,000 people. You have officially created... Oh, uh, well, it wasn't 3 million, was it? Oh, uh, shut up. Shut up. While the public mourns the dead, you must think of the future. You finish the drink in front of you before realizing it has been poisoned. You're going to die. Well, I, I didn't drink the alcohol. Oh, nice rigged game. Holy rigged. I didn't even drink coke, but I'm going to die anyway. Genius. That fuck. Rigged you should game. play RimWorld. Seems like something you would enjoy playing with a lot of main potential from the audience. Ah, uh, RimWorld? Yeah, I saw Seth's video on that. I played it for a little bit. I might try it at some point. I'm pouring water. It's not wine. Shut up. It's water. Water. Big Vampire mod. Okay. I'm not even saying this is a bit. If you added that mod into RimWorld, I would 100% do a video on it. That's the deal. That's the deal. Poisoned, you must now decide your legacy. Do you call the AI enemy you yourself created? All right, I might, uh, I might ghost. I'm going to ghost this time. Or do you ghost them? We ghosting. Uh, we leaving them on red. Unlucky. Unlucky. They're getting left on red. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. This will only cause more death. Yeah, we ghost him. Sorry. This is pretty childish, not to mention cowardly. Shut up. Hag, don't see you making any choices. <sighs> Doing nothing, you sit back in your chair waiting for death. Too bad the AI knows you would have liked to end it all here and now. The poison has damaged some vital organ. Okay, so we survived like last time. I think this is the pills. You're taking a lot of medication as of late. I'm not sure if self-medicating, in the traditional sense, is the way to go. We need to be a little radical here. Let's introspect and make some changes. Here if you take the blue... Okay, okay. Then your story what happens if here. I don't pick? You'll wake up every what day happens if, if I don't pick, do I take both of them? Life. Whereas... If you take the red pill, you will enter Wonderland, finding out how deep this rabbit hole really goes. Which pill will you take? If if I don't I pick, don't do I take see both? You as someone that stands back, no. watching the world go by. Okay, I'll take the red pill. Say it, a quitter. 
Let's get this show to the road. Pill. We're going to another plane. It auto picks the blue. Okay, yeah, yeah, red, red. I'm gonna go on to Tate's speech. I'm gonna become based and red pilled. <sighs> yes, this is the person I've been waiting for. Get this down your neck and let's go. Damn, we're gonna fuck. <laughs> Normal pills. Finally. My normal pills. I'm so happy I found these. And that's what the point of the mask is. It's never too late to mend. <laughs> normal pills. Yay, I can see it in your eyes. Mr. Red Pill was definitely <laughs> Mr. A Red choice. Pill. <laughs> hey, do you remember Tyrone and Tommy? The oh, very yeah. large boys from the start. I, I, I don't intend to shame. It's just titles of those problems. <laughs> You've got me all flustered now. She, she's getting she's getting flustered over the uh, the the chat, the Giga chat. Oh no. Tommy pushes Tyrone down a hill. He's rolling towards you and is gathering speed. Here he comes, he boys! You, Look on the right side. Here he comes. He is very large. He will consume you into his folds, thereby killing you. You could move a ramp in front of yourself, deflecting Tyrone, launching him into the sun, thereby cooking him. Okay, do, do, do we want Tyrone to ascend to the great oven in the sky? Do we be do we get eaten or consume? Tommy must be really getting off on this. <laughs> Fucking game. Alright, cook Tyrone. Sorry, sorry, Tyrone. You see Tyrone flying through the sky as he rockets towards the sun. He now knows how it feels to be food. Tyrone more than Pyro. There's no time like the present. It was literally Vore or be Vore, like, sorry, man. I can man. feel some deep stuff coming. Try this one. The question should not be, what is the meaning of life? It should always be, what brings meaning to your life? You'll never live if you're too busy looking for the meaning. Let yourself be happy. Exactly. Just rub a bang. Kill some kids. Just, you know, whatever what makes, makes you happy. makes you happy? You need to say it out loud. Do it. Say, whatever it is that makes you happy out loud. Porn. Yeah, porn. Now's your chance. Someone in chat saying weed. That is sad. That's sad. That's more sad than my semi semi sarcastic answer there. Time's running out. Just be honest with yourself. Better late than never, I suppose. I don't have access to your microphone, so I can't know for sure, but I hope you said it. I'm hardly expecting you to shout it from the rooftops, but it's for your benefit. You've still got time. Say what makes you happy. It's nothing to be embarrassed about. Quite the opposite. Porn. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Oh yeah, we're in the heavy introspective stuff now. How are you feeling? How are your loved ones doing? One of the most common things people say on their deathbed is they wish they'd had more contact with their family and friends. Let's take a break from the questions for a minute and think about someone you haven't seen in a while and how you can contact them. Really think, who would you like to say hi to? How easy is it? Oh, well, I'm kind of missing Tyrone a little bit. Can I draw? Please contact these people if you can. I'm sure you can. Well, we, we can't contact Tyrone because he's dead. We literally flung him into the don't sun for food. Too late. We don't have that long left here. When we finish, message them. He's still playing a trolley problem. Write down their name somewhere so you don't forget to say hello. It may mean more than you know. Really important stuff. Chat, chat, 
look, look to your man next to you in chat and give him a hug. I want to see chat full of sh handshake emojis right now. I want handshake emojis, guys. Everyone in chat is shaking hands right now. Turn to the person to your left or to your right and shake their hand. Pull out your phone. Go on the emoji section and put in that handshake emoji. <laughs> <laughs> you just see the amount of handshakes based best chat best chat an idle brain is the devil's workshop okay enough of this the come down is looming let's just pause one last time and think existentially for a minute I can't quite gauge what you're thinking. Are you not disliking this? The thing you're doing right now? Yes? No. Why? If so, make sure you let others know. It doesn't not count. What? She, she, I, th I think she's off her meds. I think she's off her meds. Please, I beg you, don't refund me. Wait, are you enjoying this? We'll put yes. All of this was for you. I hope you appreciate the last bit at least. Someone in chat said they couldn't find the emoji. Thank you. It's nice that you're supporting such experimental stuff. I appreciate you. Independent developers supported. We did it! Never test the depth of water with both feet. The buzz is starting to wear off. I think we're still hallucinating though. You wake up in an unknown location. You see in a bed across the room a world-famous violinist. They look pretty rough. The violinist has a fatal illness and last night their circulatory system was plugged into yours. If they're unplugged from you now, they will die. But if you stay, in nine months they will have recovered and can safely be separated. Do you leave now? I mean, not, nine months isn't too bad. Hopefully they don't take your kidneys, too. And if this guy's famous, he's going to, like, just pay us the rest of his life, right? Nine months just lying there, missing life while they feed off you? Yeah, I might leave, actually. Yeah, allow that. Allow that. That's long. That's long. Bye-bye. Sorry, bro. We pressed the slay button. I guess you have a right to life. Shame you're depriving them of theirs. Very odd to consider such an experiment as that one. Hopefully the rest won't be as meta. Silence is half consent. With all that cleared up, you go home. That's right, you own a house. If you could even call it a house. Too small for my liking. Tiny How much longer is this game? I didn't know that all in this was here. State, it turns out you've rented your tiny home to another person. Your contract states that you can evict them now. Okay, landlord, landlord. Otherwise, you're stuck with them for the foreseeable future as an equal tenant. Do you let them stay? Hmm. <clears throat> Are you that scared of what they think of you? It was my fault. I did it in a drugged out state. It was my fault. So I kind of have to deal with the consequences, right? Some would say, no, most would say, that's pretty beta. Why is there like a devil in the window, by the way? Anyone see that? That's a bit worrying. Ah, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll let him stay. We'll let him stay. Whatever. We'll just kill him later. I feel like your subconscious is trying to make some clumsy comparison here. I'm sure it has merit, but maybe read up on it a bit more before you start preaching to me. Give them an inch and they'll take a mile. R slash love landlords. Is that a real subreddit? Love for landlords? But they are rapidly growing. Little child you find from my house. Trapped in the tiny house with a rapidly growing child. Already up against the wall. In a few minutes, you will suffocate. The child won't. If nothing is done to stop them from growing, they'll Whoa, 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 whoa. What's removing the child, though? Hello. What's removing the. How, how are we removing the child? 
How are we removing the child? They're already blocking the TV. How, how are we... I, I don't know what removing the, right the child life. is. Your life, not the life of this crying bag of flour. Yeah, we'll, we'll get rid of the child. We'll get rid of the child. I, I, I don't know how we're removing the child. That's what worries me. Your life is being threatened, and the child is the one who threatens it. You own the house. It is offensive deducing that the mother... I mean, you... It is offensive deducing that you can do nothing. If you're going to die, you should probably do something. Cleanliness is next to godliness. It's like a Donnie Darko jump scare that just came up on the screen. The hallucinations are strong in this one. Suppose people drift about in the air like pollen. And if you open your windows, one may drift in and take root in your carpets or upholstery. Sci-fi! You fix up your windows with mesh screens, the very best, to stop any people seeds from getting in. People seeds? That can happen. People on seeds? Occasion, one of the screens is defective and a seed drifts in and takes root. Should you have the choice to remove the people seed? Well, it... This sounds like an abortion question. I don't like politics in my hallucinations. I, if it's going to grow into a baby that takes up the whole... You're right. <laughs> That's that like cancel trolley problem. Human being. Uh, remove. Bye-bye. A bit inconvenient having a person growing out of your upholstery. If you want them, have them. If not, that's your choice. Every man is the architect of his destiny. There is a box in front of you. Inside it is your future. A gaming YouTuber. Just a headset and a Ultimately, mic. Ultimately, no answer here is wrong. It's just a choice on how you want to live your life. Do you go on an unknown journey or take control of your destiny and choose your own outcome, whatever that may be? Surely take control, right? You'd want to take control. You'd want to be like, you know, master Good of your own you. destiny thing. Take each day as it comes. But I feel that there's going to be really bad consequences with taking control. But go. Do you ever take control, or just always answer A or B? Yeah, I'm going to pick control. Beelzebub is online. You stand tall. I, I feel we're going to get jump scared. We're going to get jump scared. Before looking at what lies ahead. <laughs> Cowards die many times before their deaths. In front of you stands everyone you've done wrong by. In front of you stands every decision you didn't want to make, but still made. Or did you? I'm just waiting, like, for the uh, low tier god to come up and be like, You should kill yourself now! Everyone, including the dead, moved towards you slowly. Not the dog. Not the dog. And the, 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 the flamingo and the dog. And the kid. Everyone, including the dead, move towards you slowly. Every decision you've made is staring. What do we do? Do we confront? I mean, Tyrone's there, man. Is avoiding your issues this much not tiring? Do we confront? You can only run away from your problems for so long. I'm gonna confront. I'm gonna confront. I think we're going to hell. I think that's what's happening. The dead present a railway track to you. Before you know it, they have gone. All good things come to an end. I've noticed the game's getting more and more unstable as it goes on. stand alone. Next to you is a railway track. A trolley is barreling down it in your direction. There's no lever in sight. You notice the entire world sits next to you on the track. 
The trolley will surely hit it, killing everyone and everything. You hear a whisper. Sacrifice yourself to me, or I will take everything. What do, you what do, do? we do? Uh, the world or us? I, I, I don't know, man. Like, Earth kind of fell off. You're just going to give everything up? Just like that? I think Earth kind of fell off, guys. The world? This dwarfs yeah. your current kill list. All right. We're not letting uh, Beelzebub get us, guys. Sorry. I live. Bye-bye. <laughs> Beelzebub invited you to chat. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not opening Steam. I'm good. Everything goes dark. But I lived. I lived. We won. From the Pitt Magistrates Court. Tell 616. Subject, justice. Your sins can no longer be ignored. Beelzebub summons you for crimes against humanity. The sentence will stand with no prospect of future contest or appeal. It is your decisions, and solely yours, that has brought this court together. And so, you must face your crimes and despicable acts alone. Accordingly, you shall not be allocated a defense, L. nor will one be required. I, I feel like if I chose to sacrifice myself, I would have got this ending as well. Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Your eyes feel heavy. The room around you is imbued with a sense of archaic evil. Overcome by the smell of sulfur, all you know for sure is that you're miles below the crust. So we're in hell now. You're swiftly escorted into a courtroom where you're put on trial. You have killed many people and a dog, among other crimes. Yep. How do you plead? Not guilty not guilty but i wasn't allowed a defense really not guilty we need to get Saul on this one boys trying to justify your actions if you didn't make those decisions then who did you did the woman <laughs> your honor the woman made me the do jury it jury finds the defendant guilty on three counts one, murder. Two, animal cruelty. You should have saved the dog. You couldn't save Three, the dog. It was leaving the dog to die world. in the cold. You're sentenced to conform without the possibility of parole. You will never again be free to choose. What do you want when from in me? Rome, do as the Romans do. You're at the base of a bridge. Your Honor. You I'm kind of quirky. No idea how you got here. A person stands before you, atop the overpass. They're next to a lever. A voice whispers to you, "We know what's best. Remove that choice. Afterwards, you can jump off a bridge with us." This game got a little bit dark, guys. Byro, have you ever heard of the visual novel Paul Deco by Hit Indie Game Group Echo Project? I feel like you'd like it since you're a furry. I mean, since you're a fan of games, D. Echo Projects, I'll look at it. Narrator, hello son, why was there a fat man on the bottom right? Who was that fella? <laughs> there is a runaway trolley traveling below you. You're part of the collective now. You can't let that person's free will get in the way of progress. Eliminate them. You probably should do it. Fit in with the group. Hashtag friends. Hashtag love. Hashtag insta good. Nah, we leaving. Thank you, Tyson, for joining. We're finally going to find out the answer to the age-old question. If your friends jump off a bridge, would you? You kill them either way. You kill them either way, though. You get gunned down. Do you honestly want to kill people? Or are you just copying others? Would you rather be a leader or a follower? Developers note this is a heavy-handed metaphor for pressures of society. Do not kill each other or jump off bridges. No, thank you. 
Thank you. I'll, I'll make sure to Kill never do masters. that. This is it. The last question before we wrap up. My father most Right, this is the now. final question. Okay. Do you feel society pressures you to do things you don't want to, constantly forcing you to chase some distant concept of happiness? Uh When I was a little zoomer, yes, but not now. Not now that I'm in my 20s. Definitely as a child, 100%. But not anymore. Yeah, chat saying yes. <laughs> I don't blame you guys. I don't even blame you guys. I think that's it. Is that it? Is that the whole game? That was fun. That was really fun. That was really fun. Oh. Jesus. Oh. Ah. I like that. I like that a lot. That was a lot more fun than I thought it'd be. I, I, I still wish I could get you guys involved in it, though. Uh, but you can only do it through Twitch, which sucks. But what are you going to do, eh? What are you going to do? What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it, eh? What are you going to do? This is all in the head. This is all in the head. This is all in the head. This is in the head. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, I could, uh... Chat, you got anything uh, you want me to watch? So I was going to end stream, but I might be able to squeeze out a video uh, to react to. I might react to the subreddit, actually. I might react to the subreddit. I don't know. What we got? What we got? Bad water videos. Actually, I tell you what, chat. Chat, I'm going to end stream now. And then I'm gonna come back uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, and we'll do we'll uh, we'll do the subreddit reaction, and we'll do a bunch of uh, reaction content, and maybe even a game or something. Because I'm kind of a little bit snoozy. It, it's literally just hit me now. I was gonna skull a monster to keep me awake, but I'm looking at actually fixing my sleep, so I'm kind of tired now. So I probably won't be up much longer. Uh, but thank you all for joining. Really appreciate it, and I'll try to be streaming again tomorrow. So yeah.